When Neymar steps foot on the pitch, there are two certainties. One, he'll dazzle you with his fancy footwork. Two, he'll be doing so with his socks pulled over his knees. But why does Neymar adopt such a specific look? Footballers often make some unusual decisions when it comes to their kit. For some, it's all about style. Like for Antoine Griezmann and his long sleeves. While some opt for a more performance-based approach, like Kyle Walker and his whole ridden socks. Others even make choices for safety reasons, like Petr Cech and his infamous skullcap. So, given how much you oh my goalers love knowing the secrets behind players' kit choices, we decided to launch an investigation. Who among you has noticed how Neymar always wears his socks high above his knees? He's done it with Santos, continued the trend at Barcelona, and now dons a similar look with PSG and Brazil. So you know what? We asked him that very question when we met up with him during the World Finals of Red Bull Neymar Jr.'s 5. We were expecting some crazy explanation, but in reality, it's pretty straightforward. Bueno, la verdad que que no sé porque le hago así desde de niño jugando y me acostumbré así. No, no es por estilo más, no sé, que subo aquí y está <laughs> más fácil. So it isn't a ritual or down to superstition, ne? Mm, falso. No, no tengo costumbre en rituales. Ninguno. Not gonna lie, ne. We were expecting a juicier answer than that especially considering how many footballers are adopting the same style nowadays. Just think of Kylian Mbappe, for example. It certainly gives players a sense of elegance, and it also protects them a bit more from the cold and the tumbles they're often prone to. Thierry Henry pioneered the look back in the 2000s, but his inspiration came from elsewhere. I took it from someone, Sonny Anderson was the player. When he arrived at Marseille, first game on TV, he had his socks over his knees. I was like, what is he doing? Then he came to Monaco. I was playing as a youngster in Monaco. So I kept the style and I could not change it. But his choice earned him a fair share of flack. When I arrived in England, I had my socks over my knees. I used to get hammered. They used to call me a ballet dancer. Look at him, he thinks he's going to dance. They were like, who is this guy? And like I said, I'm a bit stubborn. I was like, nope, I always put my socks over my knees. That's not going to change the way I play or what people think. So I kept it. In contrast, many footballers feel more comfortable wearing their socks around the ankles. Like Jack Grealish, Paolo Dybala, Lorenzo Insigne, or even Trent Alexander-Arnold. Much in the same mold as Francesco Totti or Rui Costa for the purists among you out there. Nevertheless, for Neymar, it's a simple case of doing what he's always done. And that's not going to change anytime soon. Our dear friend Neymar was in fine form during the final of Red Bull Neymar Jr.'s 5 in Qatar. He enthralled us all with his signature rainbow flick, produced some obscene tricks only he is capable of, and scored some absolute worldies. Ney also took the time to have a chat with us at Oh My Goal. He reiterated just how much the World Cup in Qatar was an objective for him in 2022. Verdadero, verdadero, verdadero. Brasil campeón no próximo mundial. En, para nosotros no, nosotros tenemos que, que confiar en, en nosotros. Eh, somos, tenemos que, que creer más. Y creo que nos faltó eso en los, los, los otros mundiales. Y tenemos que que confiar en nosotros y decir que somos los mejores y, y, hacer, y hacer eso dentro del campo. Will Neymar be one of the stars of the 2022 World Cup? Will he lead Brazil to the summit of world football? One thing is for sure, if Neymar shines in Qatar, he'll be doing so with his socks pulled over his knees, just as he's done since the start, and as he'll keep on doing in the years to come.